This is History Minute with the Earl Scruggs Center, and today we're going to talk about historical Cleveland County courthouses. In January of 1841, Cleveland County was chartered by the North Carolina Legislature, and in August of 1841, Justices of the Peace met at the home of William Weathers, which was located near the present-day Zion Baptist Church to set up and organize the new government for the county. The William Weathers house, as you can see in this photo, was a large two-story house made of timber and hand-forged nails. Mr. Weathers offered the use of the second floor of his home for the first term of the Superior Court. Refer to the second courthouse of Cleveland County as the Lost Courthouse because we don't know exactly where it was located. In the minutes from a meeting of the plea and quarter session in November of 1841, it mentions the location of the next meeting as the courthouse at Shelby. Even though the town had yet to be chartered, that didn't officially happen until 1843, the court met at a temporary location somewhere near the present day court square. In addition, there are mentions in court records of money being paid to local workers for repairs and work for the temporary courthouse. And this was mentioned several times in records between 1842 and 1845. Now this photo from the late 1800s shows the first Central United Methodist Church that was located across the street from where it's currently located on the corner of Marion and Washington Streets. And you can see where I have it circled, you see a wooden building right there. And we have no records as to what that building was at any time. So we just wonder, could that have been the lost courthouse? Who knows? In 1845, court records show that contractor George Smith won the bid to construct a new courthouse, the first on the court square in Shelby, for a sum of $6,944. This red brick courthouse with a stone foundation was Cleveland County's third courthouse. At this time, the court square became a place of many public gatherings. Here you can see a gathering of local educators, um, there were often 4th of July parades. There were carnivals on the court square. It was just a place for Cleveland County residents to gather. In 1907, the red brick courthouse was replaced by a limestone classical revival style structure. This building cost $75,000 at the time, and it served as Cleveland County's courthouse until the law enforcement center located at Justice Place was built in 1974. The 1907 courthouse is one of Cleveland County's most recognizable and beautiful structures, and we are so proud that it has been the home of the Earl Scruggs Center since 2014. Thanks for tuning in to History Minute. If you have any questions, reach out or comment below. Connect with the Earl Scruggs Center on Facebook, Instagram, or visit our website for resources and information about our exhibits, programs, and events.